Bill Gowan and I'm here in Miami at Collins Avenue, the Sea Ray display to discuss and, and show, showcase our new L-Class and our first model uh, that releases into that class, the 650 Fly. So this boat uh, was designed from the keel up to be the best 65 foot yacht uh, in the marketplace, best use of space, best features, uh, highest quality, and all of the little refinements that uh, our design team brought into this boat to, to make it a, truly a new class of, of vessel for Sea Ray. The, the boat, as I said, was really designed to, to escalate Sea Ray and use space well. So from the, the spacious cockpit and level uh, floor plan into the salon, opening the, the salon door all the way up to, to give you a very airy feel into the, to the accommodations of the boat. We have the galley up with a standard lower helm and this whole area with bright open uh, windows really feels uh, you know, like you're in a, in a luxury, um, luxury vessel. So um, we have a, a cruise quarters uh, that we've packaged into the, the transom of this boat with two berths and a day head, uh, so the, the captain and mate are comfortable. This boat uh, is equipped with a, a full bow seating area that's integrated into the deck. So you can enter that bow seating area from the, the pantograph door on the starboard side below the, next to the lower helm and walk out onto the decks and have a, a comfortable seat out there uh, with a wraparound backrest and it forward faces onto a sun pad and then we have a, some backrests that hinge up out of the sun pad with a, uh, a table that goes into that bow seating area to allow your flexibility in how you use that space to use it for sun pad and lounging or to use it as a, a sitting area and discussion area. This boat uh, was really appointed with the finest materials and fabrics and the design team really escalated our, our, our value uh, by some of the appointments that we have in the interior. We have some very unique uh, and, and solid uses of storage and space in this boat, especially in the galley area. We have a china cabinet that is mechanically raises out of the countertop so you can store all of your fine china. And we have another very well integrated cabinet into the, uh, under the sink area that Sea Ray Engineering de designed to use a, a space that is normally lost in a boat. We have tons and really adequate storage throughout the vessel from uh, hinged seat cushions throughout the cockpit and the bridge to adequate and very large storage spaces in each of the staterooms under the bunks, uh, very well, good sized hanging lockers and, and very good use of space so that the boater and consumer can come on uh, the boat with friends, family and bring all of the, the gear that they need. So on the starboard side here in the salon, we've got a, a dinette uh, that's great for, for having meals with all of your guests. Um, it will be a wraparound dinette in the, the standard boat configuration on this boat with the pantograph door we've created access to you can get forward to the forward bow. Uh, we have a, a standard lower helm on this boat so you have an open air bridge that you can drive the, the boat from up there on comfortable days and when you want to get away from the, the sun and the wind you come to your very comfortable lower helm and you close the salon doors and you're in a controlled environment uh, sailing out uh, on the water. The, the staterooms in this boat, we have four staterooms standard. Uh, the master stateroom is a beam to beam master, which is just very well appointed with some fine touches like a, a, a vanity and um, you know cabinetry on both sides. Uh, to, we can do optional dinette seating, um, face to face seating in, in the master. The, the master head has uh, his and hers vanity and a step-in shower with a rainforest shower head. Uh, the, the head is tucked away. We've gotten so much positive feedback on how well the, the tile and the, the finish work was in, in all of our heads, but the master head is the, the shining example of that. We have a very well-appointed VIP stateroom forward in the V-berth uh, with its own dedicated head. And then we have mirrored port and starboard guest staterooms um, just below the companionway stairs with full hanging lockers and berths that are convertible either to twin bunk beds or into a single uh, full bed. And, and those are customizable to, to what the owner or consumer would like. So it's 65 feet in length, uh, 17 foot in beam. Uh, it's powered with a pair of Caterpillar C18 1150 horsepower engines. 
Uh, the boat cruises comfortably at, at 30, 31 miles an hour and, and tops out at 37 miles per hour. So it, uh, it gets on the water and, and gets you where you want to go. Um, it's equipped with uh, 1,000 gallons of fuel um, and we should have optional Seakeeper gyroscopes uh, that we have on the boat to um, make sure you're comfortable at sea any day that you want to go out on the water. This is actually the first boat that Sea Ray has designed to meet Category A requirements. Um, a lot of very um, stringent uh, rules went into the design and engineering of this boat so that it could meet the, the harshest sea states out there. The best thing about this boat, as I said, is it really has changed the game for Sea Ray. Um, it's brought a level of customization that you know we want to enable the, the consumer to make this boat what they want. Um, but all backed by true Sea Ray quality and innovation.